Former Newcastle Knights winger James McManus is one of those people who was born with a gift for the game. I started playing rugby league when I was about 13 years old and I ended up down at the Newcastle Knights uh, from about 17 um, and played about nine years in the NRL um, from, from sort of 2007 uh, to 2015. Uh, I guess the culture of when I was sort of coming through was, you know, if you were going to come off the field, you, you needed to get carted off. Um, you know, you had to get up and do what your job was. Part of that job involved taking regular and significant blows to the head. It's probably hard to really remember exactly how many times, you know, there'd be, Jesus, 25 plus, I'd say. As the playing years rolled on, James and wife Isha began to notice a troubling change. He was just paranoid about everything that was happening. He did feel like the world was against him and he would just see these small things and be like, oh, I think this and I think that. And I'm like, I don't, I don't see it that way. I don't know why you're seeing it that way. It was panic, yeah, it was like at I was times. I real like, panic attacks. Like a, yeah. You know, and I, I hadn't been a great husband that year. Our home life was spiralling. Yeah. I was spiralling and it just, I was like yelling at the kids and I was making mistakes at work and I was, you know, I just couldn't, um, I was feeling so guilty about what I was putting them through. And in the same breath, you, you just can't get your thoughts arranged because of what's wrong with me. I sort of finally got in front of a neurologist and they've gone, there's some scarring on your brain. You've got the brain of what, what looks like you're someone of 50 years old. I was shocked. I didn't think that he had um, sustained that sort of damage to his brain. I was only 30 at the time. And we had only just had our first baby. Um, so I was also like, well, well that, what does that mean for us? And how, how are we going to manage this? Head trauma is the major risk factor for CTE. Well, CTE is the short form of chronic traumatic encephalopathy, and this is a type of dementia. Many people don't realise that it is actually up there with things like Alzheimer's disease. Unfortunately, there is no cure for CTE. In fact, there is no cure for any dementia that we know of in 2022. Of course, this we, we strongly believe and hope will change. Dr Rowena Mobbs is leading Macquarie University's new national CTE biobank. We're very proud to launch the Australian CTE Biobank. So this will aim to perform annual testing with blood biomarkers that may be useful to detect CTE earlier and more accurately. Well, James is one of our wonderful patients who have come through our program here at Macquarie University and who can see the benefit of not only good clinical care, but also the importance of this research. James and Isha are now ambassadors for the CTE Biobank. I want to take what's happening with me and take a positive direction in, in it and, and if I can help other people. We, we didn't know what was going wrong. It took us nearly four years post-career to actually find out what was wrong with me properly. It felt really lonely. It felt really, it really lonely. It's really important that the loved ones of people that are experiencing um, concussions or um, head injuries are aware of what the symptoms are. I loved playing football, absolutely loved it. It was not a making money sort of thing for me. I really enjoyed sort of playing the game, but had I known it was gonna to lead to this, I, I wouldn't have played it. Um, not to the extent that I did. I'm hoping that the games become safer. I think there's definitely a way forward and I think the Biobank will help heaps with that. Anything that's gonna make the game safer and, and have players healthier now and in the long term can only be a good thing.